Okay guys, uh, welcome back to part two. In the previous video, um, we went through preparation, two apps to install, and uh, the base game install and the update, <clears throat> DLTX latest modded execs, and the new levels. So in this part we're going to install enhanced shaders and also screen based shaders. Uh, that should cover this part too. Uh, let's get to it. Okay, so first of all, you want to get back to uh, your mod DB page and do a search for enhanced shaders. It should be yeah, the second one on the list there. <clears throat> so you want to download that, put it in a folder where you're going to find it. Obviously, I've already downloaded it. Uh, I keep all my mods in my store files folder. It's always good to have it all organized and together. As you can see, I've got a lot of mods going on there. Not all of them I use, but most of them. So there's enhanced shaders, 1.10 there. And as you can see, you've got a bunch of files here. You've got no PBR, which is the main file, or PBR, which is the one I always go for color grading so you can uh, grade your game with different colors blue red vanilla warm cold whatever uh, corrected cube maps which make the, uh, uh, the foliage look a little bit better fixed bloom that helps uh, shader parameter controls which is also useful if you want to manually adjust the colors and, and the shading of your in-game <clears throat> so we'll get all those installed. So PBR first. So go to your main game folder. Click on the PBR. Simple as. Copy. And paste. Go back. Do the same for uh, the color grading. <clears throat> Copy, paste, correct to cube maps, and copy. Replace, fix bloom. Be paste. And your shader controls. Two files here. Two folders in. Copy. And paste. Right, like I said before, um, once that's all in, installed, you want to open up your game again, like you should do with every mod install, just to make sure that it's working and running. Hit delete shader cache. Any major graphical updates, I always do that. But not with enhanced shaders, I'm not sure. I think it says on the page that you shouldn't delete the shader cache. Can't remember 100%, so we'll leave it off. Okay. Let's load up our save game. Let's see what it looks like. Ah, so you got a black screen. Don't worry, that's normal. Whenever you install enhanced shaders, it's always a black screen. So what you need to do is uh, press your console key, which is the uh, far left of the top below your escape key, and type in CFG load 
grading, G-R-A-D-I-N-G, underscore. You can use default, you can use vanilla, you can use cold, you can use warm. Uh, we'll start with default. And voila. Exit out of there. Okay, so that's enhanced shaders installed. Let's just go outside and have a look. <clears throat> it's early morning again in Corden. Now, as you can see, it looks like crap. Now, we could start ordering uh, the settings now, but it's going to make more sense to install screen space shaders first and then we'll uh, order all of the uh, lighting settings, uh, gloss settings and everything once that's installed on top of enhanced shaders which is what we'll do now um, and we want to do a search for screen space shaders uh, the latest one which will be 18.1 I think it is type that in okay there it is at the top so you need to download that put that in a folder so I've already downloaded it again so we'll go down scroll down and find that where is it there it is Okay, <clears throat> now this is a lot of files to install. Now I'm not sure if you can all ins you have to install them manually or you can bunch them and just drag and drop the whole lot in there. I always do it manually. Uh, maybe someone can uh, put something in the comments about that because it does take a while. So first of all, we'll uh, install the game, uh, the main file. <coughs> Copy paste. Uh, then we want the enhanced shaders uh, patch. Install that. SSDO. Copy. Paste. SSS. Replace. Screen space reflections. Copy paste. Water. <clears throat> they got the ice version of the water, but unless you're running a winter mod, you can leave that off. Rain. Which looks absolutely beautiful, by the way. Footsteps, HUD raindrops, again they look really good on the uh, PDA when you bring that up. Puddles, weapons depth of, depth of field, some people like it, some people don't. I don't particularly like it. So I always leave that off. Indirect lighting. Again, that looks really, really nice. Install. Okay, so the rest of them you just copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Shadow fixes, sky debanding, floor fixes and improvements. Fog. Really nice feature.
volumetric sun rays. Um, I think that one um, just softens the sun rays a little bit. Blood decals. Yeah, they look really good. This is the main one. Gloss and wet surfaces. This one can only be installed with enhanced shaders. All the rest uh, doesn't need to be. Uh, the modded execs, I don't think we need them because um, if you remember we've already installed the uh, demonized GitHub modded execs. So we'll leave those off. Uh, if there's any problems with the game when we load it up, we can always drag and drop them in the, uh, the folder after. So that's it. Screen, screen space shaders installed. So definitely delete the shader cache before you start the game after this install. Okay, so let's load up our save game. Oh, I'm just going to turn the, uh, the music down. Right, so there we are. We've got enhanced shaders loaded in. We've got screen space shaders loaded in. That looks all right. Looking pretty good. Um, but we can make it look a lot, lot better. Um, so if you go into your debug menu, which is F7 on your keyboard, you can change the weathers around. So we'll put on clear one. That's looking pretty good. Uh, if you go to the timeline, you can also change the time of day, so you can get an idea on what it looks like at different times in the day. So yeah, it looks alright, but for me a little bit too dark. Right, so let's fix that up. See you in the next part.